for us it's about building an organisation that reflects the community we want to create. So economically I think diversity can help our sport by making us more appealing to sponsors. Probably the main challenge in achieving gender diversity in sailing or in our sport is that historically it's quite a male dominated sport um, so a lot of what we're trying to do is change, I guess, ingrained sort of mindsets of people. Um, and with that come various challenges of either people setting their ways or, or not understanding why um, you should have a diverse sport. When we first noticed that our organisation wasn't reflecting our membership was in, in a board meeting when we had just all males around the table. Yeah, so we um, looked at our participation numbers around uh, gender diversity at junior level and that was 50% male, 50% female, pretty much close to it. Um, and that in the senior categories it was a lot more male dominated. So that's when we sort of realised that as an organisation we need to do something about this. Um, and the way that we started to address that was look at ourselves what was the organisational sort of management team um, and it was very male dominated which basically we're not providing any kind of role model for um, the juniors once they become seniors that are female to want to aspire to, to take on those leadership roles. So the gap in our sport was in um, adult women and to be able to try and address that, we needed, a, I guess, a sounding board as to what some of those reasons could be. And having women now, now involved with our board has been great in that avenue is to just get a different perspective and a different way of thinking around some of the barriers to participation for women in sailing. So economically, um, diversity just makes sense to us because around sponsorship, 50% of the market is male, 50% of the market female, and the more that we can appeal to both sides, the greater reach that sponsors are going to get for their money and for their support to us as a sport. So most sports want to achieve maximum participation, and like any other sport, we're no different, and we sort of feel to do that, we've got to appeal to the most amount of people we can, and uh, society is diverse, so as a sport, we need to be as well to keep up. For us, um, looking into the future, I think we're just starting this journey um, and it was a real good point to realise with the 50% male or 50% female at juniors into senior was a bit of a drop off on the, the female side um, and starting to just address how we can move forward and make that more equitable into senior ranks in the future. As a state sporting body, the risk that we can face um, quite a lot is that we get so tied up in day-to-day -day activity and day-to-day -day work and everyone's under the pump that you don't often take the chance to just take a step back, take a bird's eye view about the health of your organisation and what you actually reflect and is it reflecting what you want for your sport long term um, and for us that really helps. Once we realised that we had a, a real lack of diversity actually within the organisation itself, um, we were with, that's what we knew there was a problem and uh, I certainly urge people not to make the same mistake that we had in the past and to try and address those barriers. Grow the diversity of your organisation and in turn your sport is only going to benefit from it in the long run.